this is a quick video to show how we can run um, an external program from uh, Nexio. In this case, the external program is our JMeter performance scripts. Here I have a very simple script that does a search on Craigslist. Um, you can see the, the parameters right here. Uh, this dollar query is coming from a CSV file that I have in here, which is just have a, a bunch of um, dummy data. Uh, and uh, so in order to show the JMeter's uh, console output, in the Nexios console output, in order to show that in there, we turn on this system variable nexio.external.console and set it to true. Okay, and in our scripts, which is right here, so to run the uh, external program, uh, we use the external run program command. And here's the actual command that we will run. Uh, a few different data variables right here. This one right here. It's been defined up here, so this is where my JMeter uh, is installed. The JMeter script is defined right here. This is where my script is installed. It's in my data directory. Okay, and then I have an output uh, variable also defined, which is defined here. It's going to go into my output directory. All right, and uh, we have two two ways of running programs. One is to run. Um, as part of the automation. So what this will do is, while this is running the Nexo script or Nexo execution, we'll, we'll wait for this to complete and then move on to the next, right? So this is blocking. This is a, a blocking uh, command. Then we have the run program no wait. This will now block. So Nexo can then continue on to the next command whilst this uh, uh, program continue to run in the background. But in both cases, uh, we can see the output, so I'll show you, show that in a in a few minutes. Also, we can uh, tail a log. In this case, there's a tail command. This is a fairly new um, command, and here we are going to tail the output. This output that's defined here, we're going to tail it right here, and we're going to give the outputs a kind of an ID so that we can differentiate between different tail uh, tailing uh, that we're doing. Right. So now you can see that. When I tail this file, it will have this prefix, and then you can see I, if I if I have to tail another file, I can have a different um, ID, so it will look a little bit differently. All right, so here uh, I'm gonna run Nexio now. So this is the command to run Nexio. Off we go. And uh, while it's running, we can we can show that right now JMeter is still not running. There's no JMeter just yet, and then there it is. So JMeter just, just started, it's running now in the background, and you can see that here are some log information that comes from uh, JMeter, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the JMeter program itself. Okay, still running, and there's the outputs. Now, there's two different kind of outputs right here. This one, this line right here, comes from the JMeter um, program, because I set up my log to, to debug, we see this line as such. This portion right here, the one with this dummy output prefix, this is from the tail. So this actually is the uh, log file that I specify over here. Okay, but they're going to the same output, so they will be in the same place. And as I run them, you can see that the different uh, now there's more logs coming up. This is part of the result of the tailing, and here is more logs from JMeter. So they're kind of intermixed together now because they go to the same console. And finally, this will finish, right? And so it finished right here, and then run the next program. But while this program is still running, next will continue on and eventually finished. And now here's the other program that's running and its output that's coming out of next will right here, right? If I run this again, you'll see that there's now another JMeter that's running. This process ID and that previous one is different. This is the second run, which is part of the run program, no wait, not the run program, right? And then this event will finish, and now of course Jimmy also finished. So, a quick demo to show how you can run external program and to tail a file from inside Nexio.